Right, one of the last things we do is we write words, don't we? We chop words up into the sounds, we segment them. Now, for the last couple of weeks, we've been putting these things in your homework. This is called a phoneme frame. So you put the sounds in each box. You can see this one's a bit longer, and that's because it's going to have a phoneme that's made with a digraph rather than a single letter, okay? I can see my word is going to have one, two, three sounds in it, okay? So my word is, ready? Sort. I like to sort the shoes, okay? Sort. So the first thing we do is we chop it up, don't we? I've got the robot arms. That's it, well done. So we say the word sort. S-O-T. Well done. And we're not putting one of those us on. Okay, and this time I get my phonic fingers out. Let's have a look how many sounds there are. Sort. S or T. Well done. Good. Now I'm going to have a go at writing it. Okay, now I'm going to write it in the phoneme frame for you just to show you how you would do it in your homework. Okay, so we've got S is our first sound, and our next sound, remember, S or. Now the or sound is made with these two letters right next to each other, isn't it? So it's really important you put them next to each other, otherwise, they are single letters on their own. S or t. There you go, t on the end. Sort. Sort. Now, if you want to, once you've written it in your phoneme frame, you can write it as a word, practicing putting all your letters close together, making sure that we form those letters properly. Well done. It's quite tricky going upside down. Okay, so I've got one more. Now, sometimes. Mrs Brooks might be really, really, really cheeky and she might put on a phoneme frame that has more than three sounds in it. We can see this phoneme frame has got one, two, three, four sounds in it, hasn't it? So this word is going to be spoon, spoon. Now it's quite hard to hear this one and it really comes in phase four, but sometimes we like to set you a little challenge. Okay, so we'll have a go and see if we can chop up the word spoon. Okay, get your choppers out. Well done. We're going to segment the word spoon. Off we go. Spoon. Spoon. Well done. Get your phonic fingers ready. Spoon. Spoon. Well done. So now I'm going to have a go at writing it. And the first sound was s. Remember the next one was p. And then it was Ooh. Do you remember how we make the oo sound? That's right, it's those two letter O's, isn't it? There we go. Okay, s p oo n n knocking the nails. Well done. So this one's got one, two, three, four sounds in. And again, you can write it underneath, trying your best with your letter formation, trying to get those long letters and those tall letters right. Okay, and there it is, keeping the letters close together to make it a word. Okay, have a go, keep practicing this, it's a tricky thing, you're doing really, really well. Well done everyone.